Hi, Cat's Cradle and Prepper A here. We just got an order in from Harbor Freight and we were going to show you the unboxing, but for some reason they had left this, not even a big big staple, just a little regular staple in, in um, the corner of it and I ripped my hand open, so that wasn't a very happy thing. Uh, but I, what I was going to show you was Prepper A helping me with the unboxing. We went to the hardware store last night in a, uh, a little town just about 10 miles from us. I was looking for a crock uh, because I want to make some sweet pickles and I haven't had a crock in years and I needed to get one. Uh, they didn't have one, but as we were leaving, Prepper A asked the lady if she could see the knives that were in the counter and I didn't know that she'd brought money with her. She intended to buy a knife all along and you found one, didn't you? I did. So what kind did you get? I got a buck light. Uh-huh. Yeah, what do you like about it? Well, I like that it's army green. You like the color? That's my favorite color. <laughs> and then I like that this blade is extremely sharp. Okay. And for uh, both the two things were... Um, what two things? Well, this is... Oh, the knife and the sheath, uh-huh. Knife and sheath were both uh, together $20, so I'm pretty excited about that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Slips right in there. And it just slips right on your belt and it's just the perfect size for you, isn't it? It's perfect. That's great. And how many times am I going to have to remind you to take it off that you can't wear it to school? A million and a half. <laughs> a million. <laughs> exactly. Uh, in my quest to hold down uh, my electric bill, I bought this little fan to set on my kitchen counter. It's 7 inch in di diameter. It has high and low speed. Uh, it works pretty good. I'm going to test it out and see how I like it. I bought some latex disposable gloves. These are not food grade, but they're for doing other messy things. Uh, I want to have those. And large is sometimes hard to find. If you go to a medical supply place or uh, Sam's Club, lots of times they're out of the large size. They just have medium and small. So I just went ahead and ordered these online. If you needed to, to deal with uh, waste in a disposable toilet or whatever, this would be fine. I saw these little sensors. It's called vibration alarm with a sensor and they run off a little 1.5 volt button cell battery which is included. Uh, it beeps if it senses vibration so it's perfect for a patio door or even uh, a storm door or windows. Uh, I really like it and what I like best about it is that for both of them it was $4.99. So just for about $2.50 a piece you can put a sensor on, on anything you want to be able to detect vibration. And the real reason for my order was this little beauty right here. It is a Dutch, cast iron Dutch oven. And I thought they had a great price on it. It was $29.99. Now I know you can go online and buy those real fancy ones uh, for twice that, but I just didn't see any sense. It's cast iron. Uh, it's coated with a fairly heavy coating that I'm going to have to wash off and uh, probably scrub off. Uh, but then it gives you full instructions if you don't know how to season cast iron. They include that, they include that with the pot. Uh, my favorite way is to wash it good with uh, soapy water. It's really the only time I wash cast iron with soapy water is the first time. Uh, then I put oil on it. And one of my favorite things to do is just to throw it in a fire and just let it cook in the fire uh, for a while bring it out and wipe off the ash and re-oil it and let it sit for a little while. You can do it in your oven, but usually uh, if you haven't completely got all the coating off, it's going to smoke. So I really like doing it outside. You can also do it on your barbecue grill. Just uh, wash it off and season it and then put it on your barbecue grill and heat it up. And that way if it smokes at all, it's outside. Anyway, $29.99 for that thing. I really like it. I was hesitant to order it because I some the reviews were mixed. People either loved it or they hated it, and that was based on them getting a lid that did not did or did not seat well. This one uh, seats very well. It's nice and tight and firm on there. It has a handle to pick it up. And I'm not going to lift it at the bottom. I think you can see here. There's one of the feet. It's a tri-footed uh, Dutch oven, and I am tickled to get it. The advantage to having this over just a skillet or another uh, cast iron pot with a lid is that this lid is recessed so that you can set coals on top. And I've seen 
lots of recipes that will tell you if you want to bake a, a loaf of bread, you put so many coals on the bottom and so many coals on the top. They're very specific. If you want to bake a pie, this many coals on the bottom, this many coals on top. And I have a chart like that so that, you know, I don't have to figure out, you know, I don't have to figure it out. I don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's already been done so that you know exactly, exactly what it takes to cook. I like that. Um, I like this very much. Anyway, for this whole, this whole order, uh, well, I'll tell you, for the fan, I paid uh, $8.99, the sensors $4.99, the gloves were $5.99, and there's 100 gloves in that box, and then $29.99 for the kettle. So my total order came to $49.96. There was uh, $2.74 in tax and $9, uh, well, $10 in freight. Uh, putting my total order to $62, and I think that's great because really uh, on some sites I couldn't even get the the, the Dutch oven for for sixty two dollars so anyway check out Harbor Freight another thing they have I don't need it but it's a, a great thing to have and some of you are looking for it I think they have a uh, food dehydrator for either thirty dollars or just under thirty dollars and it looks pretty good uh, food dehydrators dehydrators don't have to be fancy they just have to have a little bit of heat and be able to move the air effectively so if you're looking for a uh, dehydrator, go check them out. They run great specials, too, where you, if you go in, you'll get something free when you leave. So check out Harbor Freight. Uh, I'll give you a link to their website. I hope you have a great day. Cat's Cradle. One thing I forgot to tell you is that Harbor Freight's cost is based on how much you spend, not on weight, which I'm glad for because I got this big old heavy thing and all and the other stuff shipped for for just under ten dollars so that's a consideration for you it's based on the amount of money you spend uh, not on the weight so uh, if you need to order uh, cast iron anything they're the people that they're the people to order from now that's all cast cradle